structure. Today we're going to make it to like oatmeal uh, chocolate chip cookies. They're delicious and they're yummy. You, know, you could put raisins in, but I like chocolate chips. It's going to be a really wonderful treat today. So we're going to, I, I call this my vanishing oatmeal cookies because believe me, it'll vanish in this house. Three fourths cup of brown sugar. Make sure, folks, it's light brown. I always, you know, certain things you have to add the light brown, and other things you add the dark. And I also, oh, go ahead. And one half cup of white sugar. You need both kinds of sugars in this, all right? Now, I always keep it unplugged because uh, mittens is a little hyper today. We're going to cream this together with the two sugars. Oh, one more thing, your butter. One stick and six tablespoons of unsalted butter. Yeah, Mittens is a little hyper today, as you can see her. Must be the cold weather today. Mittens! Well, anyway, we're adding in two eggs. Now, I was telling my daughter, we're planning on making roast chicken, but the roast chicken is still frozen. Well, they, they say when it gets cold outside, it's very hard for things to thaw out, like normally it's when it's hot outside, because it's cold, you know. Two eggs. Adding in the other egg, then I'm adding in my vanilla. Then we're gonna to go to the dry. Okay. Two eggs. that tomorrow is my grandma Elizabeth's birthday. We're going to do something in her honor tomorrow. It's going to be really good. It's a surprise. Uh, we're we'll definitely filming something in her honor. Because she was a baker. Oh, was she a baker. One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm sure she taught me how to make these oatmeal cookies because where else would I have learned to make them? I like to use, I like to use any kind of cookie. It's pure vanilla extract. It's, it's all natural ingredients. It smells good too. All right, we're going to mix this together. Oh, a little bit of salt. There we go. Now this is nice and creamy. Now we're going to head towards the dry. I have my flour. I'm adding in. I'm adding in one and one half cups of flour. I, I always separate my dry before I add them because I don't want to lose anything. Okay, flour. One and one half cups of flour. Make sure everything's in here. You want to have everything to the tape because you don't want something not coming out right with the recipe. Okay, we're going to put this over here. I'm now adding in my baking soda. I'm taking a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm adding in one teaspoon of baking soda. Let me wash a spoon off. I don't want to get any vanilla into my baking soda because then it will not come out. I mean, the next recipe that I choose to make. All right. One teaspoon of baking soda. This is a baking soda one. There we go. We're going to put this over here. Now, the next thing I want to add in is going to be my cinnamon. I'm adding in. So everything is out before we go into the cinnamon. I'm adding in one teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Good. Now, before we add the oats, we, use, we always like to use Quaker oats. Quaker oats have been with me for many, many years. We're going to mix this together. We're going to add it in here, then we're going to go to the yolks. Grandma always separated her dry and the wet. I know that because I always used to have the baby. Okay, we're going to stop mixing now. I don't want to take a chance and mix any more and lose anything or have it stick to the beater. We're going to mix this together. It's a lot of arm movement. Then we head towards the oats, and we, we will have to mix the oats in. I just want to make sure this is all mixed together. I can't believe this is coming out. Nice thick dough. Now three cups of oats. 
Oh, it's just wonderful to have for breakfast, folks. Okay. okay I'm going to add in one at a time. This is what's going to turn it into oatmeal cookies, folks. Okay, it might be a little bit low on oats, but we'll still, uh, we have plenty left. All right, remove this, mix the oats together. I just added some more oats and one more cup. All right, now we're going to cover this up because folks, we still have oats left. I like to use that for my breakfast, especially in the winter time. Stirring the treat. Let me just make sure everything is mixed together. Oh, I'm gonna have to use my hands with this one. All right, I want to add in the treat. Some people add in uh, raisins. I am gonna uh, add in some chocolate chips. There we go. A little bit more. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna actually use my hands now. We're gonna mix everything together. It's a very sticky kind of dough, so it has to chill, obviously, folks, for at least a good 20 minutes before I could actually turn this into cookies. We're gonna actually, these are roll out. You don't roll this with it. Okay. A little bit more chocolate chips in here. But you could use raisins also, folks, but I prefer chocolate chips when I, I, I I'm not a raisin eater, folks. If I have to make raisin, use raisins with something, I will, but I'm really not much of a raisin person. All right, All right we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and chill this for about 20 minutes. All right, we're gonna make these into balls, folks. It's very sticky on your hand, so please be, let me pick up this piece of paper in front of my kitchen. I have a little problem here, folks. My daughter suggested put a little bit of flour on my hands. Just a little bit of flour, not a lot. It's a lot easier to get the dough off your hands because your hands get very warm, folks, and it sticks, and we don't want to have any sticks. Okay. Oh, I cannot wait to have this. Oh, I have to tell you something. I got into another show. This is all virtual theater. I'm doing a Midsummer's Night Dream. I'm playing the part of oh, Master Master Seed and Stiblet. It's two characters in a Shakespearean play. I don't know when it's going to take place. Believe me, I will let you know. I think the first one that's coming up is going to be Cats, and I'm playing the villain in that one as well. I don't know if I'm actually the villain in this show. I don't think so. Every show has a villain. Did you know that? Yeah, every show that, I, that I've seen, it has a villain in it. There's always, always a villain in every play. Okay. And also tomorrow is my grandmother's birthday, and I'm sure she taught me how to make these cookies. Okay, I'm going to push them down a little bit, just a little bit with my hand. If they want to go down really, folks, here we go, a little bit. A little bit. I'm going to spread... And they're going to be nice and soft in the middle and crispy on this on the outside. All right, we're going to pop the oven and bake this for uh, a good 5-10 minutes. This is oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, and this is definitely in honor of Midsummer's Night Dream. Glad to be cast in that show. Grandma Elizabeth Kent would see a lot of my plays come to think of it. She was so proud of me, and she said I have talent and everything. So I'm really happy she came to see my plays, and tomorrow we're definitely going to honor her birthday. But this is today is in honor of Midsummer's Night Dream 2021. It's virtual. Nothing It's going to be done. And, you know, with a lot of people, everything is virtual right now. You could do, technically, I could do 10 shows at once if I wanted, as long as it doesn't meet the same day. Deborah, Tom Country Kitchen, have a great day, and please subscribe to one for YouTube channel.